Tape number two. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The author, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, may Allah have mercy on him, said, No, may Allah have mercy on you. Indeed, it is obligatory upon every Muslim man and woman to study these three points and to act upon them. Explanation by Sheikh Haytham ibn Muhammad Sarhan. May Allah preserve him. Second section. Three points regarding Tawheed. The author supplicates for the student in his treatise three times. At the beginning of the treatise, when he mentioned the three important points regarding Tawheed, and finally when he says, No, may Allah guide you to his obedience, that Hanafiya is the way of Ibrahim. What is the meaning of Tawheed? Linguistically, to single something out and to make it one. Islamically, to single out Allah in every matter which is exclusive to Him, including attributes of Lordship, His rights to worship, and His names and attributes. Tawheed has three categories. Number one, Tawheed al rububiyya to single out Allah in His actions or to affirm He is the only Creator, Owner, and Controller of everything. Number two, Tawheed al uluhiyyah to single out Allah with every act of worship. Number three, Tawheed al asma wa sifat to affirm every name, attribute, and action which Allah or His Messenger has affirmed for Himself, and to negate whatever He has negated for Himself, without distorting the meanings, negating the meanings, describing their reality, or likening Him to creation. The author, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, said, The first point, Allah has created us, provides for us, and He has not left us without a purpose. Rather, He has sent to us a messenger. Whoever obeys Him will enter paradise, and whoever disobeys Him will enter the fire. The proof is the saying of Allah, Indeed, we have sent a messenger to be a witness over you, as we have sent a messenger to the Pharaoh. However, the Pharaoh disobeyed the messenger, so we seized him with a severe punishment. Chapter number 73, verses 15 and 16. Explanation In the first point, the author, may Allah have mercy on him, affirms Tawheed al rububiyya and Tawheed al asma wa sifat. He said, Allah has created us, so he is the creator, and provides for us, so he is the provider. And he has not left us purposeless. He has set an objective for us and legislated commands and prohibitions. Rather, he has sent us a messenger. This messenger was Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, who must be followed in worshipping Allah. Allah sent messengers for two primary objectives. Number one, to establish the proof upon creation. Allah said, We do not punish anyone until we send a messenger. Number two, as a mercy to mankind. Allah said, We have not sent you except as a mercy to everything that exists. The author, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, said, The second point, Allah is not pleased that anyone is associated with him in his worship, not a close angel, nor a sent messenger. The proof is the saying of Allah, the places of worship must certainly belong to Allah, so do not supplicate to anyone besides Allah. Chapter number 72, verse number 18. Explanation This affirms that worship is for Allah alone. The word alone is indefinite, so it includes everyone and everything. Prophets, righteous people, jinn, angels, idols. None has the right to be worshipped except Allah. The proof is the saying of Allah the Most High. The places of worship must certainly belong to Allah, so do not supplicate to anyone besides Allah. In the above verse, the word places of worship has three meanings. 
Number one, the mosques which are built to worship Allah in them. Number two, the body parts we prostrate with. Number three, the entire earth, due to the hadith, the earth has been made for me a place of prayer and purification. The author, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab said, The third point, whoever obeys the messenger and singles Allah out with all worship, it is not permissible for him to have loyalty to those who oppose Allah and his messenger, even if they are from the closest relatives. The proof is the saying of Allah the Most High, You will not find anyone who believes in Allah and the last day making friends with those who oppose Allah and his messenger, even if they are their fathers, sons, brothers or relatives. For such he has written Iman in their hearts and strengthened them with guidance from himself. He will admit them to gardens under which rivers flow to live in it forever. Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with him. They are the party of Allah. Verily, it is the party of Allah that will be successful. Chapter number 58, verse number 22. Explanation The third point in relation to Tawheed is the importance of distancing oneself from shirk and its people. This has to be done in three ways. Number one, the heart. We hate the mushrikeen and their celebrations, especially their shirk and innovations in the religion, due to them associating partners in worship with Allah. Number two, speech. Say, O disbelievers, I don't worship that which you worship, and you do not worship the one whom I worship. I will not worship that which you worship, and you will not worship that which I worship. For you is your religion, and for me is mine. Surah Al-Kafirun Number 3. Actions By not participating in their festivals, celebrations, dances, clothing, play or beliefs.